The Bible tells us that Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. In Isaiah 53, we are told that the Messiah, Jesus, would be killed like a lamb. We have heard the story of Jesus many times, but this Christmas, let's take a look at how the animals welcomed the birth of Jesus, the Lamb of God. In the fields outside of Bethlehem, the sheep ate the long grass tended by the shepherds. Have you ever wondered what sheep do while they are being tended? Of course, they like to sleep and eat, but like you and me, they also like to play. I give up. Where are you guys? Come on, let's play another game. I'm tired of hide and seek. I've looked behind all the rocks, all the trees, over most of the hills, and I know you're not hiding in the corral. Why do I always have to be the Move. one? <gasps> now, cut it out. You guys are always picking on me. We weren't picking on you, Tiny. Can we help it if we know how to find good hiding places? We were getting tired of waiting so long. Well... I'm tired of always being the one who is left alone. Oh, come on, Tiny. We like you. Don't we like Tiny? Yeah! Well, just because I'm little and spotted, you guys think you're better than me. Now, don't get your wool ruffled, Tiny. Very few lambs are perfectly white. We just happen to be lucky. We should all learn to be happy with the way we were born. We like you, Tiny even though you are spotted. Uh, let's not play anymore. It's about time to be heading back to the fold. Well, anyway, I'm glad I'm spotted. I don't ever have to worry about being chosen for a sacrifice. Why? Are you afraid to die? No, I'm not afraid to die. You know that all sheep accept death without fighting it, but I just don't like the idea of it happening up on the altar with everyone making such a big fuss about it. Well. I think it would be an honor to be chosen for the sacrifice. That would mean that I was the whitest and most perfect sheep of them all. Why do you think it would be an honor? I mean, what's it all about anyway? Why do the humans have to kill a perfectly white sheep? Haven't you been listening as the shepherds talk around the campfire at night? Why, just last night they read it again from the Bible. You see, Tiny, all humans are sinners. That means that their souls are not perfectly white before God. They are spotted with the ugly stains of sin. And the Bible says that the soul with sin will have to die. But what does that have to do with us sheep? Listen, Tiny. God made a plan for the humans, a way for man to pay for his sin by sacrificing an unspotted lamb. Why don't they just pay money for their sin? Well, because the Bible says that the only way to pay for sin is by shedding blood. The payment for sin is death. Oh. Well, then why does it have to be a white lamb? Isn't my blood good enough? Because the unspotted lamb is a symbol of the Messiah. A symbol of what? The Messiah. Boy, you really haven't paid any attention at night, have you? Well, nighttime is for sleeping. I'm not going to snoop in on the shepherds like you guys when you should be sleeping. You're always sleeping, Tiny. Well, I'm a growing young animal. Now tell me, what is this Messiah thing? Oh, the Messiah is not a thing. The Messiah is a man. A white sheep is a symbol of the Messiah who is a human without any spot of sin. I thought all men were sinners. The Messiah is not just an ordinary man. He's the Son of God. Well, where is he? Why don't they just sacrifice the Messiah to pay for their sin? Well, that's exactly what they're going to do when he comes. The Messiah hasn't come yet. I guess the shepherds have been waiting for the Messiah for many years. You mean they're, they're really going to sacrifice a human instead of a lamb? Yes, that's what the shepherds seem to read in the prophecy. In fact, 
They say the Messiah will be the Lamb of God, the Son of God sacrificed as a lamb for man's sin. Then that will be a sad day when he comes. No, it will be a glad day. When the Messiah comes, he will take care of the problem of sin once and for all. And he will be just like a sheep. He won't fight death when it comes. He will want to die because he loves man so much. When do you think he will come? Nobody is sure, but the shepherds think that he will come from Bethlehem, the city of David. That's not far from here. No, but it could be years and years before he comes. I hope he comes soon. I would love to see the Messiah. It will be a happy day when he comes. Augustus, the Roman Emperor, decreed that a census should be taken throughout the nation. This census was taken when Quirinus was governor of Syria. Everyone was required to return to his ancestral home for this registration. And because Joseph was a member of the royal line, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, King David's ancient home, journeying there from the Galilean village of Nazareth. He took with him Mary, whose baby was soon to be born. When they arrived, they found the homes, the inns, the whole city was overcrowded. Even the stables were packed with animals who had just arrived in Bethlehem. Have you ever wondered how the animals felt, having to share their stable not only with other animals, but with humans as well? You know, this is getting to be ridiculous. If they try to crowd any more animals into this stable, there won't be any room for us cows to lie down to sleep. At least we pigs have a place to sleep in the mud. Don't count on it. People are coming into Bethlehem from all over the country for the national census and taxing. What's a senseless taxi? Not a senseless taxi. A census is when you count all the people in the land, and taxing is when people pay money to the government. Oh, no. Here comes another donkey. There's not room for very many more animals in here. Well, now, don't anybody panic. I'm the last animal. <laughs> oh, the innkeeper told us that the inn is full of people. There's no place left in the whole city to spend the night. Oh, this place was our very last hope. But the inn is so full that people are sleeping in the kitchen. It's just terrible. Well, if there's no room, why are you coming into the stable? I suppose your people are going to come in here and sleep with us animals. Well, I don't like it any more than you. But that's exactly what Joseph is thinking of doing. 
Mary is expecting a baby, and she's very tired. And I'm so exhausted from carrying her all the way from Galilee that I can't walk another step. What's the purpose of this census and taxing? You mean they are really going to come in here and sleep? The innkeeper told us that this was the only room he had left. He didn't think Joseph would take him up on it. Oh, I don't like this whole thing, the senseless trip, and Mary is so heavy, and Joseph is so nervous, and it looks like it might start raining, and I... Now, I, quit <sighs> your complaining. Oh. We'd just as soon make the best of it if they decide to stay here. Here they come now. Look, look at her! She, she really is going to have a baby. Yes, and it could be any day now. Oh, I'm afraid what with all this long trip and all the tension and... Now, th what's to worry about? Oh. Yeah, I was born in this very stable myself. Looks like they're going to try to bed down by the hayloft. I suppose that's the cleanest spot. But you don't understand. This is going to be a very special baby. An angel told Mary and Joseph that this baby would be named Jesus and that he would be the Messiah, the Son of God. A, re a real angel? Wow! Did you see it? Was it You really? mean the Messiah that everyone has been waiting for is going to be a baby named Jesus? Yes, and I'm so worried. Oh, Mary doesn't look well, and this would be no place for the king to be born. Mary and Joseph are both direct descendants of King David. The new king should be born in a palace. Oh, wouldn't it be exciting if Jesus, the Messiah, was born in our stable? It does look like it could be any time now. No, don't say that. Oh, this is awful. Calm down. <sighs> if this baby really is to be the son of God, don't you think God would take care of him? Well, I suppose so, but this is no place for a king. Maybe, maybe he is going to be a different kind of king. What do you mean? I mean, well, I'm not too smart. But look at the mess this world is in with all of the leaders we've tried already. They haven't brought peace on earth. I think man's real problem is not outside, but inside. And maybe God's son is supposed to be the king of men's hearts. An inside kingdom. Well, I don't know, but look. Oh, I think she's going to have the baby right now. I think you're right. Oh, oh. how exciting! They're putting fresh straw in the manger. Let them use the manger for the baby. Oh. It's the oh. least we can do for the birth of the Messiah. I, I'm going to get cleaned up. And I'll get some milk ready. And I think I'm going to faint. Come with us. Wait a minute. How, how, how do you know the Messiah is here? You always sleep through everything. But this time you really missed it. Oh, 
it was the most beautiful sight we have ever seen. Well, tell me, what happened? We'll tell you on the way. The shepherds have already left for Bethlehem. Let's follow them. was a wonderful night in Bethlehem as the angels sang Noel. And in the stable, the animals looked on in wonder and excitement at the manger where the baby Jesus lay. Isn't the baby beautiful? And Mary and Joseph look so happy. I still don't think this is much of a place for King Jesus to be born, but at least he is healthy and warm. Is this the place? Is this the place? We're looking for the Messiah. Yes. Come in. How did you know? The angels told us. See, I was right. Jesus is the Messiah. Oh, look at him. I don't believe it. Such a beautiful baby. Oh, wow. Such a healthy baby. The Messiah is here. Hush, everybody. We're all making too much noise. The baby can't sleep with all this braying and bleating and oinking. And mooing. I think... I think we'd better all leave now and let Mary and the baby get some rest. Come on. Oh, oh, what a beautiful child. Again, I think baby that. Jesus, you're so precious. I love you. And I know you love me. Sleep, Jesus, sleep.
Jesus had been born, there arrived wise men from the east, asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. They traveled on, and the star went before them until it came and rested above the place where the young child was. Entering the place, they saw the little child with his mother Mary, and they worshipped him. Now everyone knows that the wise men came and brought costly gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But who brought the wise men? Why, the camels, of course. And even for camels, it was a long, exhausting journey. Everyone knows that camels have a lot of endurance, but this trip is just too much. Is this what we came all the way here for? A baby? <laughs> this is crazy. All of those long weeks of travel, carrying the wise men over the mountains, across the desert. This is the longest trip we have ever taken. And for what? Usually we travel to find treasure or to see something beautiful. But a little baby in an old stable? I don't get it. The wise men said we were going after the world's greatest treasure this time. But instead of finding treasure, they're giving precious gifts to that baby. He must be a pretty special baby. Let's get out of here. I want to go seek after adventure. Who wants to hang around this place? Let's go back outside and look at that big star. Yeah. Do you really think that star was leading us here? It sure looked like it was. Say, where are you two going? Don't you want to stay a while and worship the king? What king? Is that baby a king? I don't want to stay here. This is boring. All you two ever want to do is have fun and adventure. Don't you understand how important this is? No, we don't understand. This doesn't make any sense to us. Can you tell us what in the world is so important about this baby Jesus? Both of you should have done more listening and less playing. The wise men have been talking about this for years. This baby Jesus was prophesied about a long time ago. The wise men have been reading the prophecy and studying the seasons, and when they saw the star, they knew it was time for the birth of the Messiah. So who is the Messiah? The Messiah is the Savior of the world. Do you see that man over there? Yeah, that's Joseph, the baby's father. Wrong. Joseph is not Jesus' real father. God is Jesus' real father. Jesus is the Son of God. Born of a virgin. You mean that little baby is God's own son? Yes, and he has come to earth to save men from sin. Then this is the greatest place on the whole earth, to be with Jesus, the Son of God. That's right. Now I understand. Jesus is a real treasure. Whoever finds Jesus finds eternal life. <laughs>
And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord.